Hello everyone, Mr. Obi here from Stifford Clay's Primary School, Year 4, and we're looking today at the, our maths lesson, Week 3 of Home Learning. Okay, today we're going to learn about tenths and hundredths. And in 2009, the 100 meters world record was broken by the world's fastest human being, Usain Bolt. The time recorded was an amazing 9.58 seconds. Let's look more closely at this number. Right, if we take our number, 9.58, and put it into a place value chart, it looks something like this. So we can see that we've got nine ones. After, the decimal point is after the nine, five tenths, and eight hundredths. Okay, on the left, we've got tenths. On the right, we've got hundredths. If we look, we've got 10 equal parts at the tenths and each part is worth one tenth. So if we count on from one tenth, we've got two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, 10 tenths, which makes one whole. With the hundredths, we've got 10 in each row and 10 in each column. So we know that 10 times 10 equals 100, so there's 100 parts in total. Right, let's look at the left. The diagram shows us tenths again, and it says one tenth. So there's 10 parts shaded in, or 10 parts in total, sorry, and one part shaded. And we can write that as a decimal number, which is 0 0.1. On the right, we've got one hundredth. There's 100 parts in total, which we can see in the denominator. And on the top, the numerator is 1, so 1 one hundredth. And we can also write that as a decimal number, which is 0 0.01. And I can see if I look closely that 1 tenth is a larger amount than 1 hundredth. So we, can, we know just by looking at our diagrams, that one tenth is a larger fraction, a larger amount than one hundredth. If we look at our hundred square again, we can see that if we shade it in 10 squares, 10 over 100 is equivalent to one tenth. It's written differently, but it's the same amount. Okay, let's try some together. The first one, I can see that there's two columns of 10. Two times 10 should be 20 hundredths. The next one, if I count up, there's six rows of 10. And six times 10 is 60. 60 one hundredths. The next example, I can count on from 10, 20, 30, 40 plus three more gives us 43 hundredths. And the last two, we've got one, two, three out of 10, three tenths. And we've also got 10, 20, 30 out of 100, 30 hundredths. What do you notice about three tenths and 30 hundredths? Okay, well, if you said that, they are equivalent fractions. Well done. They're the same amount again. They're just written differently. Right. Right. We've learned so far then that, that if there's 10 parts in total and 10 parts are shaded in, that equals one whole. The same with the hundredths. There's 100 parts in total and 100 parts shaded in. That gives us one whole. So let's look below. Tommy's made a number on the place value chart. I can count 13 tenths. There's no ones, but there's 13 tenths. So how could he represent that differently? I would have said that we know that 10 tenths equals one. So 13 tenths is simply one whole and three tenths. Okay, where will these numbers go on the place value chart? 
I've got 0 0.68. I can't, can't see any whole numbers. So there's no ones and no tens, but there is six tenths and eight hundredths. And likewise with 5.24, I do see that there's a whole number. So we have five ones, two tenths and four hundredths. Okay, well done if you got that. Okay, fractions can also be written as decimals. If we look at the fraction number line here, we start at zero, we end at one. If we count up in tenths, one tenth, tenths is equivalent to 0 0.1, two tenths is equivalent to 0 0.2, and so on. If we go beyond one, we can still write decimal numbers in tenths. So two, then 2.1, 2.2, and so on, all the way up to three. Can you help to put the correct numbers in the spaces? Okay, if we start at zero, end at one, we know that they're divided into tenths. What do you think the first one is? And the second, and the third. How about from seven to eight? What about the first box here? And the second box. Okay, for zero to one, if you said that it was 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.9, well done. And on the last example, you said it was 7.3 and 7.6, well done. Okay, that's all we have time for everyone today, but good luck on week three maths using tenths and hundreds. Stay well and keep safe, and we'll hope to see you soon. Bye for now, bye.